All right, the engine's glued in. So what I did is I run some uh, Zapper Gap CA glue around the kit plastic part of the engine on that end bit that I cut off. And I pushed the resin engine onto that. And I gave it a little blast to the bolt up the accelerator, CA accelerator. And as I mentioned, I've just done that. I let it dry a bit more. You can still see it's a bit wet. I'm going to wrap some uh, tape around that to keep that joined just in case it, like I mentioned, if you give it a bump, it could come off. So, and also I glued this piece on, obviously, but I cut away those locating pins that are on these bulkheads. It was just, it was just putting it off a bit and lining it up. And I felt it's just better to get rid of them. I really, they're only necessary if you're having the, the model split apart, and that's part of the actual uh, split in the fuselage if you want to display it with the tail off. But I added it just in case because I wasn't sure without it how it would affect the build. So when that's done, then I'll start putting the other side on. And hopefully it'll all go together. I don't want to be forcing anything at the moment, just in case I bump that. But it should be, looks like it'll be all right. And I, I, before I glue it too, I need to work out uh, about some nose weight because there was no mention of that I saw of uh, adding nose weight, and I'm not sure if this A4 is a tail sitter. I can imagine this probably will be because of all that weight in the resin engine. So I'll dry fit the other side of the fuselage, and maybe the dry fit of the wing, and do the old balancing act and see which way she wants to tip and I, I can add or you can add some of the nose obviously because I haven't got that those uh, that interior detail sections in there which would come inwards or I can I reckon the best spots behind the uh, cockpit seat there sit it on the, the uh, gear bay I shall have a look see of what how it all goes. Working on the wing section, uh, as I mentioned, I was just doing a dry fit, but I want to add the uh, wheel bays because that adds weight. So I'll make sure I've got the right weight happening for the balance. Just a uh, couple of things to point out. So these wheel bays will slot in. You've got the guides around there. But there's a couple of little areas where there's some <clears throat> injection pin just slightly raised. So I've done that so I just need to sand them out. Just things to look for that will foul your fit. Uh, so which one do I do on this one? It's they call out for so the bay is painted uh, in two parts. So the good section, one part of it's interior green, and the other part is white, which is the actual gear bay. The other part's the gun bay. Now you could. I'm not having the gun bay open, so basically that's the bottom line. Uh, if I were to do that, I would want to get a aftermarket resin set for better detail because it's, so I don't know why, but that, this open part, well that'll be where the uh, shells load into I suppose, but that face is up and it's got a ejection pin mark in it and it's pretty ordinary. I imagine 
a resin one would have a lot more detail than what this has. I'm going to put it in and I'm going to paint it up as what they say, but you're not. It'll sit there roughly. But by the time I put the gun bay cover on, which should fit better than that, yeah, you're not going to see it. That's slid across, so you won't see it. But it's possible if you lifted the model up, you might see a bit of it on an angle. So I will paint it as suggested, but I'm not uh, spending much time on it because for me, it won't be seen. It's just, uh, like I said, it, it would be a nice uh, to detail it up, but with resin, the set, I, I haven't even looked whether that's a thing or not. I'm, I'd imagine it would be, but anyway, I digress. That's just what I'm doing on mine. Okay, so this is for those of you who, were, if you wanted to think about having your gun bay open, this is what the kit parts will look like. Obviously you would have to fill in that little ejection pin mark if that were the case. But as mentioned, you will not see it on my build. But yeah, so that's what the bay needs to be painted up like. And we got the... Uh, metal parts and just out of curiosity if you want to know a lot of the guns I do I use this uh, it's metallic black so it's got a I don't know if it shows up sort of as mentioned in the name metallic look or yeah, usually that for a quick job, otherwise I'll run a, a uh, powder to paint it, paint a uh, part black, just flat black and rub uh, pigment over it and give it a metal look, but that's messy, uh, you touch it and it comes off. So I've glued that one in obviously and I'll have to touch in the wheel bay there because there's a lip from the wing section that needs touching in along the sides there. I'm going to glue this one in and I'm going to then I'll be able to do my fit and do the old which way is she going to go? See at the moment oh, it's sort of hanging in the balance a bit leaning a bit more towards the resin engine part so I dare say I will be putting in some nose weight All right, it's glued together. I had a few minor issues where front meets back on this side. Uh, when I dry fitted it, it, the back pulled in further than the front. So I glued the bottom. The bottom was okay, glued that, let it set. Then I glued the top and pinched the front in so it is level, flush, and put tape on it to hold it, let it dry. The I got a problem here. I did have it better than that, but it's pinched, pulled apart. I'll use uh, some filler on that to fix it anyway. But and you can see I've got a gap between the engine and the fuselage now. When originally I put it in and did a dry fit, that gap wasn't that big, so I wasn't expecting a perfect fit, let's just say that, but it's no big issue. I've got plastic card, this is point 0.1, and I'm going to just glue it. I have to cut the curve, but I'm going to glue that in there, and that way that'll fill that the, the, the tiny gap that's left. Then I'll use putty. You could use putty on that, but it, this will work better and be a better result than just whacking putty in there because putty will shrink somewhat. I did put, I don't know if we can see that, if you can see, there's a, I did put a fishing weight, a sinker, in behind the cockpit because it did tail sit. So I glued that on. Uh, wings, 
section is the wings are top are glued on and the gun panels are on now I've done a draw if you here it's not again it's not going to be perfect I'm going to have to check it's close but I have to check there's a bit of a gap which again isn't much but I'll see if I can get it better and I need to get this better because it's sitting up it's not flush uh, delta wings so yeah I just gotta work that out but I'm actually I don't do a lot of 132nd but <clears throat> it's actually a decent size in 132nd even though it's a small aircraft so yeah I sort out these little issues and then uh, get this fit better and then I can glue that on and then I can start putting in uh, other sections, panels, uh, intakes and whatnot. I'm working <clears throat> on this fit. I've got it pretty much flush on the back there. I've improved the wing root a bit. I'm still working it. Well, what I'm doing is, first of all, what I did was sand there and there, and in there was uh, ejection pins marks, and they were slightly raised, so just in case they were fouling the fit. And I got this chisel blade and run it along here just keep working along there along the back section from the join of the two halves backwards trying to because there's a bit of a lip on them so and also here because of the that was stepped I've just worked that work it down a bit and then you got to be careful doing the sorting, but and then along the actual join, I've worked that. Um, and when you're doing that sort of thing, obviously be careful you don't slip and put a big gouge in you or uh, plastic. Where you'll see, you, know, you got to create more work for yourself. So I'm just showing you how I'm solving my problem here. So I'm going to do a little bit more, try and get a bit better, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up. Uh, having to put a bit of putty in that wing root section which is fine because you won't really see it's a very small gap I've gone as far as I can I think with the scraping the back is fine now by the time I glue it in that's flush the reason being, if I keep scraping, when I put the wing section on, so you got that's part of the wing, but that's the fuselage. If you keep scraping, you're going to have a step. At the moment, the fuselage and the wing section are flush. If I keep scraping out in there, you'll end up having a step, and you're creating another problem that you don't want especially in an area like that so that's about as good as I can get it so you can see I've put that plastic card in there and that's cleaned up most of that gap is still a bit up there so yeah that that'll be putty to fix that but then I need to fix that gap I might use a bit of CA glue on that one that's a bit nasty uh, but that's that was me not because when, when I glued it, if you pinch on the solar fuselage, it opens that up, and you can't get uh, a good pinch on it. I tried with the tweezers, though that it's, it still didn't really pinch in good. And I held it with my fingers for a while, but I get bored doing that. I'd rather just fill it. So I've just started to have a look I've got to put these panels in 
and this soil looks like it's going to be a good fit. So that's good. But uh, I haven't cleaned up the injection pins on the other one yet, but I'll put that in. And then I can start, I can put that piece of the leading edge of the tail because I'm doing the version without the hump because it's the top gun one uh, yeah so and then I have a look at putting on these intakes and start getting the fuselage sorted uh, panels are in that corner I wanted to sit up so I've just held some tape there to hold it oh and that last segment when I said tweezers I meant a peg not tweezers I've put this section in and it the rear of it on the bottom of the piece is it was too wide I just wanted to push it down but it wouldn't push down because the bottom of that part was hitting the fuselage so I, I scraped the underside of it on an angle I chamfered it so that I could get it to fit down now you are left with a bit of a gap which putty will take care of but you can't uh, if you wanted to pull the fuselage in then that would change your fit on the front to back fuselage section so you just have to deal with it like that that's not nothing major but now I've cut this piece off the sprue to put it in. It's not wanting to fit well either. I can, this side is flush, but this side, the front corner, is not going in. So I'm going to have to have a look, see here, and probably do some more clean, uh, try chamfer off some plastic or something just to see if I can get a better fit. And that corner I said I'd putty I put another little piece of uh, plastic card in there I'll still need to putty it but just not as much so when I sort this part out uh, I'll probably look at putting glue on the wing on them because actually before I glue the wing on I will do a fit dry fit of these intakes and see how they're going to fit <clears throat> one intake on they're not I wouldn't call them perfect I'm going to have to by the looks of it on the bottom here I'm probably gonna have to sand back the fuselage but I've kept the top flush with the join also what I did is you got the uh, there's a tab that was there that that would slot into that hole I found that was making it sit forward so I've taken that tab off of both of them and then I can just sit it in this side is a little bit better but again this is probably going to require clean up and to be honest a lot of models with this sort of setup where you're putting the intakes on a lot of them uh, will cause issues minor or major this one is in the minor department but yeah over the years some of them are shockers things that come to mind are like mirages some of them can be a bit there you go on their fits but anyway that's got nothing to do with this but so I'll glue it in and after they've dried off I'll give them a day to dry off or whatever and then I'll come in and have a look again and see what I need to do to clean it up uh, I've trimmed that plastic away just with the blade I you, can, you saw how I do it is jam plastic card now I don't care what it looks like it's serving the purpose then I just trim it off with a blade I will mask up the resin and then sand that flush and then have a look again at what else needs to be done obviously still that gap there but protect the resin because that's uh, raised 
rivet detail along there. So I don't really want to uh, sand that away. So if I put a couple of layers of tape there and then I'll be careful sanding back that plastic card to clean that up. Uh, so once I've got the other intake on, I was thinking I'll put the wing on but it might be better off. I'm probably better off waiting so I can get at this better to clean that up because that's, yeah, I don't, I'm not really happy with it but it is what it is.